हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर अनिल कामत आई एम अ सीनियर कंसल्टेंट सर्जिकल ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट सो वेरी ऑफन आई गेट आस्ड बाई पेशेंट्स एंड रिलेटिव हु आर डायग्नोस्ड विद कैंसर एज टू हु इज द बेस्ट पॉसिबल पर्सन टू ट्रीट माई कैंसर और ट्रीट माई रिलेटिव कैंसर नाउ लेट मी जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस नाउ there are many people who are equally competent to deal with a certain cancer like say for a cancer within the abdomen say a cancer of the stomach there may be surgical oncologists there may be surgical gastroenterologists and even certain general surgeons all who are adequately trained to perform this type of surgery so how does a patient decide as to who is the best possible person to deal with his cancer most of them do tend to search on the internet but we must realize that the internet is a fallacious thing we know that reviews and ratings may not be the best possible way to judge a surgeon many senior surgeons that i know are averse to the internet and do not really solicit their patients to put good reviews and sometimes they will some surgeons are outright about things to the patient though they are honest they are outright and this may not be liked by the patients who go on and write bad reviews about the surgeon so how does one decide i cannot tell you who is the best possible person but i can tell you what are the general principles which one must follow before any type of surgery so that you can be aware that the doctor has done the best possible thing for the management of uh, the cancer now certain things which will help you to judge the surgeon or the treating oncologist is that has the doctor explained to you the diagnosis properly the diagnosis sometimes may not be straight forward very often i get ladies with a breast lump which sometimes is difficult to tell whether it is malignant or benign and we may have to rely on further investigations like a frozen section so first and important thing the diagnosis should be explained to the patients and relatives in detail and if we have not arrived at a proper diagnosis this also should be explained to the patient the second thing is staging you have to be assured that the doctor before treating you has adequately staged the disease that is the necessary investigation like a pet scan or a ct scan has been done except barring a few exceptions normally it would be wrong to take a patient for treatment without adequately staging it next always see if the doctor has explained to you about the overall plan of treatment and not just his part what i mean is that see certain cancers like say a rectal cancer they may need chemotherapy following surgery or radiation following surgery has this been explained to you or has the surgeon has the doctor been just explaining about his part or the surgical aspects it is very important that the patient understands the overall plan of treatment rather than only surgery so that he can be prepared for the finances for how he needs to plan his next few months the other important thing is that has there been a good coordination between the three specialties surgical medical and radiation many cancers nowadays are not operated upon directly there may be a indication to give neoadjuvant or chemotherapy and radiation before surgery now has the doctor explained to you whether it is required whether it needs to be done and if it is not to be done why it need not be done so please check with your doctor or please trust a doctor who tells you that uh, that it needs to go for chemotherapy and radiation prior to surgery and if not why it is not required so coordination between the different specialties medical surgical and radiation is very important the other thing which you need to know especially from your surgeon if you are undergoing a cancer surgery has that is this suitable for a minimally invasive treatment like laparoscopic or robotic nowadays in the last few months the laparoscopic and robotic surgery has come up in a big way and it would be a must to discuss with patients whether a certain cancer is can be dealt better by doing it laparoscopically or robotically again i would like to stress that not all cancers are suited to do by this 
method. Certain more advanced cancers are those with doubtful resectability. The traditional method or the open method may be the best method for treatment. But if the cancer is suitable, the choice of minimally invasive surgery that is laparoscopic or robotic has to be offered or has to be discussed with the patient. And if it is not suitable, the doctor should explain to you why it is not suitable, whether it, he thinks that the tumor is too big or whether he thinks that the patient is not suitable. Certain patients with cardiac problems, they may not be suited for a long laparoscopic procedure in which the abdomen is distended. The next important thing is whether all the complications have been explained. Very often we see that surgeons try to underplay the complications with fearing that the patients might lose out or go to some other this one. Do not take explanation of complications as a weakness. All good doctors do explain all the complications to their patient and tell what is the percentage of chances of it happening. It is impossible to tell whether a particular patient will end up in a complication or not. But the averages can be told. What is the general? Is it 5%? Is it 10%? Is it 20%? So this percentage needs to be explained so that the patient can do take an educated decision. So overall, there are many, though there are many doctors who perform a surgery in an equally competent way, please see if these following principles have been followed in your treatment or your relative's treatment. The place where the surgery is performed is also important because no doctor can handle the patient on his own. He will need the help of the ICU specialists, of cardiologists or pulmonologists. Especially if it is a high risk patient with multiple comorbidities, it is very important that all these other specialities are available. Also there are what we call as comprehensive cancer centers where all three modalities surgery, chemotherapy and radiation are available under one roof. The advantages of having all three modalities under one roof is that the coordination is better between the different specialities. So the patient can seamlessly coordinate between the chemotherapy doctor and the surgeon and the radiation oncologist depending on what is the treatment to be followed. This may not be possible if the cancer is treated outside a comprehensive, uh, comprehensive cancer center. Coordination is possible, but it will have to be done in different centers. So please keep these factors in mind before deciding where to take treatment under, and under whom to take treatment for a, a particular cancer patient. Thank you.